really about investing. Again, this this rule of 72 uh, is so important. Uh, if you had a hundred dollars, one hundred, and you doubled it next year, every year you doubled it. Every year you doubled it. Every year you doubled it. There is one person listening to me who couldn't do this. Every year, every year. Do you want to know what it would be at the end of 20 years? I've already told you. That's that's a, that's a hundred dollars at a hundred percent compound, compound interest. How much will it be at 20 years? 20 years. 20. Huh? You said a million. Two million. Somebody else. That's a hundred dollars. Can any of you double $100 in a year? If you worked, did our jobs, save a little money, a little pin money, a little grocery money, a little bit of this, that, and that? Okay. All right. At the end of 20 years, this would be $50 million. That's the miracle of compounding. That's why when you start this stuff, it doesn't get very much as you go up 10 or 12, and then all of a sudden, what's called the exponential curve, it begins to to do this, and it goes straight through the roof. And the next thing you know, you see, where did all that money? There's a book called The Millionaire Next Door, and these people are living very simply, very humbly, uh, you, you just can't believe it. But they did just this. They kept putting money into the market. They kept putting money maybe into rental real estate. They kept investing, 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 investing. And lo and behold, it began to multiply. You know, it's when we use our money uh, to consume on things we don't need. You know, we go into debt on consumer purchases. That is the suicide. Because you're going to be paying 18%. And I began to, you know, what these mortgage companies are doing. It is ungodly. These mortgage servicing people, some of them I understand now, according to Business Week, were actually holding back the payments that people made on their mortgages, then they were declaring the mortgages into default and uh, 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 foreclosing on the people, and they were losing everything they had. If you've got a credit card and uh, uh, you have a balance on it and you are late for one payment, you may be paying 18%, and suddenly they'll jump you into another category of 28%. Or if they discover that five years before that you had a student loan that you didn't pay on time, they'll say, well, we're going to classify your loan and up the rates go. I mean, the things they're doing are just horrible. So stay out of debt, especially consumer debt.